Namaste. Welcome. If there is one breath control exercise or pranayam that I really recommend you to keep in your practice, it has to be the alternate nostril breathing or the Nadi Shodhana. It has numerous health and wellness benefits. So for this lecture, I will be teaching you the basic and the fundamentals of this breathing method. All right, some points to remember, we need to keep our spine open because the spine is the pathway of the energy. So you may practice in a cross-leg sitting position or you may just sit on a chair as long as the spine is tall. You don't want to be fighting the spine, just breathe through it. When you breathe through the spine, it has its own way of opening up. All right. Number two, of course, you need to do some body movements there. So you don't want to be feeling heaviness or maybe some twist side to side or a gentle neck stretches or shoulder rotation would suffice. If you practice your asana, that would be ideal too. All right, so we will be using the thumb of the right hand to firmly block the right nostril. You press it firmly, but not too tight. And then inspire the air, or inhale the air, the breath, through the left nostril. Good, light, fluid, and as long as you can comfortably you know, breathe your normal rhythm. Definitely, you're breathing through one side only, thus your breath will be longer than your normal pattern, but don't strain. All right, just breathe as comfortably as you're able to flow it all the way up. All right, and then at the top of that inhalation, you're gonna hold a light clip. This is very important because that clip, yeah, you are allowing the healing force of the prana to remain inside the body. And at the same time, it keeps the inner organs, especially the lungs and the vital organs inside, supported in light as you practice the method. All right, so after the top of that inhalation clip, all right, and then use the ring finger of the same hand, the right hand, to block the left nostril, keeping the spine open, exhale the breath through your right side without collapsing the spine. At the bottom of that exhalation, lightly pause, maybe half a second, and then inspire again through the right, clip, right thumb blocks the right side, Exhale through the left, a gentle retention, a pause, slowly breathe in, the breath is rising, feel it rise through your spine, clip, block, exhale slowly, inhale through the right again, you will feel the inspiration or the inhalation, light, cold, and a bit dry, clip, and then you might feel the exhalation or the releasing of the breath, moist and a bit warm. Good. And retain or pause and then repeat the process. All right. So it's so simple. Yeah. If your bandages are developed already and you want to progress the technique, you might do some retention, but really not necessary. Yeah. For general health and wellness, you just breathe through it using your normal rhythm. Right, so after the practice, you might just breathe again your normal pattern, let the breath recover. Yeah? Through the practice, for example, you feel strain or heaviness, release a technique, and then just recover the breath and resume the practice again. So after the Nadi Shodhana and you still have the time, you might do a meditation, stillness, or just relax a bit before you rise up again and do your normal activities. How many start small? Yeah, as um, short as three minutes yeah, would suffice. And then add on maybe one minute every two weeks until you're able to comfortably uh, perform or practice maybe 11 minutes in a session. Three times a week, every day. It's a beautiful practice, any time of the day, whenever you need it. Till the next one. Namaste.